Hello everyone, it is Samantha and I hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday so far. As you guys may have noticed, it's been a little bit since I filmed a video. I think it's been about four months now, so <laughs> been a little bit busy. Just had a lot going on with work and school and all of that good stuff, so I haven't really um, filmed a lot. Um, I also got really burnt out on filming for the past like five years, so I've been definitely a lot more sporadic the past year, hence you guys getting a video like every quarter. But I had some time today to film a video and I thought, you know what, it's been a hot minute so why not do so today? So here I am in front of the camera and I feel very awkward because it's been a while. <laughs> so if you guys follow my social media then you will know that I have been back in school taking classes. I've been taking online classes because I'm trying to make up a credit deficit I have for my CPA exam which is basically the Certified Public Accountancy exam. It is the test that you can take to become a registered um, accountant basically, public accountant. Um, it usually has you know extra benefits in your career and I decided to try and pursue this. However, uh, I am short some credits to sit for the test you need I think it's like 224 quarter credits and before I started taking classes I was like at 192. Um, they changed the credit requirements shortly before I graduated from college so most of us who graduated with our bachelors we didn't have enough credits to sit for the test so fortunately I meet the requirements for the upper division uh, business and accounting courses so I can pretty much take whatever I want which is nice. So I've been taking classes and I start spring term on Monday and I'm excited about this term's classes because I can take whatever I want and two of them lie within my interests. One is a history class which is like ancient to medieval history and then the other one is like a music class uh, where it teaches you rhythm and how to read music and stuff and I was trying to teach myself piano and kind of fell off doing that and I thought that this might kind of get me back into the swing of that and then I am taking a project management class for business. I've been trying to kind of mix classes that I find interesting with classes that I think would help my career hence the project management class. Um, this is my first term where I'm taking 12 credits while working full-time so it's gonna be very interesting but I'm trying to get all of my classes in before um, fall term. So I'm going to be taking 12 credits this term, 12 credits summer term, and then I will finally be able to start studying for the test. That was basically my long winded way of saying this is why I'm really busy right now. <laughs> so I have that going on and then as many of you also are aware from around the world, we're dealing with the coronavirus stuff. So that means I have moved fully to telecommute. I'm very fortunate to be able to work in a job where I can do my job fully telecommute. Um, it's definitely been an adjustment having all these video calls and things um, because they're making us have video calls daily with our team members and it, it's been nice though. I like working from home. I was already telecommuting one day a week, so I enjoy working from home. Um, it's been nice. I am able to get a big monitor now, so I'm not just on my little laptop, so that will be nice to have. So it's just, it's just been an interesting time. Uh, Oregon is semi on lockdown. They, our governor basically put out an order telling people to stay home. Um, so we're not in, like in a full lockdown, but it is very much a don't go out unless you have to kind of an order. Uh, so it's been interesting to just kind of see events unfold. It's definitely very stressful and anxiety ridden time, but trying to make the best of it all. I'm already an introvert and homebody so I already have a lot of stuff that can occupy my time uh, and some of the things that have been occupying my time I'm going to share in this video. So first off this is kind of a Friday Reads video so I will share with you guys what I have been reading. I haven't actually been reading a whole lot this year. I've only finished one other book this year. Uh, just between homework and, and work I don't have time to read really. So it took me three months to finish um, Tower of Thorns by Juliette Marillier and this was the second book in the Blackthorn and Grimm series. I'm really enjoying this series. I love Juliette Marillier's books. I've read them for years and years and this one is no exception. Uh, I love that this takes place in like ancient Ireland which if you guys know me Ireland is like something that's very close to my heart so I enjoyed this book a lot and then I dropped that book so still me in case you were wondering. It's fine. No books were harmed in the filming of this video. The next book that I am reading I just started a couple days ago. It is The Last Wish by Andres Sapowski. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. I tried to look up how to pronounce it on YouTube so hopefully I did not butcher his name terribly. Um, as many of you guys know this is the prequel novel that starts off the Witcher books. I love the Witcher series on Netflix. That was actually I, I just I never read these books and I never played the video games and then ne it was on Netflix and my boyfriend was away at the time and so we ended up watching it together as like something to do in the evenings while he was away and I was obsessed with it and then I wanted to check out the book so I got this one I read online that this is where you should start with the prequel series um, which is actually I believe what the first series of the Netflix was based on um, I mean it is I've already read like several chapters and it follows you know, a lot of the events in the Netflix series so I'm really really liking this a lot actually quite a bit so 
I've been reading this guy. I'm like um, 100 pages into it so far. I've been having a lot of book baths. I found this really great Dr. Teal stress release bubbling Epsom salt bath, which is like amazing. I highly recommend you get this because it is fantastic. So I have been taking a lot of baths lately since I have more time in the evening since I don't have a commute and then reading and I've really been enjoying this. So this is the only book I'm reading right now and I may move on to something else. Just don't know what yet. So that is the only book I'm reading this weekend. <laughs> the next thing I've been doing with pretty much everybody else is playing Animal Crossing on my Switch, Animal Crossing New Horizons. I love Animal Crossing. I have played it since GameCube. New Leaf for the DS was one of my favorite Animal Crossing games. And so I was very excited to get New Horizons because it's been like eight years since Nintendo has released an Animal Crossing game. And so far it has not disappointed. I love it. I've just been basically playing by myself. I need to like go and visit people's islands and open my island for visits. I haven't really done that yet. Um, but I will leave my friend code down below in case you guys would like to friend me on the Switch and then we can visit each other's islands. I am loving it a lot. I themed my island kind of after the Farseer books. So my characters named Nettle and I named my island Farseer. So Robin Hobb themed, of course, on brand, I guess. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. It's been a nice little escape and it's a lot of fun. So I will continue to be playing this on my Switch. Other things that I intend to do this weekend, tomorrow is actually my birthday, which feels weird. I'm going to be 32. I don't know where the time has gone. I don't know how I'm 32 because I don't feel 32. Yeah, here we are. I also want to get back into coloring a little bit this weekend. I think that will be kind of fun to do because I kind of haven't done that in a very long time. And then I have some diamond dot kits I'm working on uh, that I would like to finish as well. So I think those activities might kind of carry me through not only this weekend, but in the coming weeks, you know, and I have more downtime and stuff, especially, I mean, I take, it would take me like an hour and a half to two hours to commute in the morning and then again in the evening. So I have a lot more time. So that's kind of nice. Like I've been waking up at six in the morning to get a workout in every day during the week before I start work, which has been really nice. I used to have to get up at five o'clock to get ready for work. So I'm still sleeping in an hour and I'm getting in a workout. And so I've been enjoying doing that. It kind of starts my day off nice and fresh. So yeah, I have, I have more time to do more things, which has been really, really nice aspect of all of this. So basically that is, is my weekend in a nutshell. I'm gonna be playing a lot of Switch reading. I'm going to be having some FaceTime with my boyfriend because he's also like self-isolating in his house. And then um, we've been watching documentaries like medieval history documentaries, which has been kind of fun in the evening. So I'll do some of that that I'll be watching this weekend. Fortunately, I have my family with me here. So I'll be celebrating my, my birthday with them and then spending time with them. So it's gonna be nice and relaxing, so. That is my my very rambly Friday Reads video. I am so sorry. I haven't filmed in so long. I feel so out of practice. So I'm really sorry. This video is a hot mess. I tried. All right, guys, that is it for my very rambly Friday Reads Weekend Plans video. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy in these times. Definitely very nerve wracking times. But we're all in this together and we will get through this. And I hope everybody is okay. Alright guys, this is, I just need to end this video because it is turning into a rambly mess, so sorry about that. I hope you guys all have a great weekend, and until next time, I don't know when that will be, but I'm sure I'll put out another video maybe next quarter. I hope you guys have a great one. Bye!